Hey guys, Epicara101 here, and today I will be showing you how to make a quarry with Industrial Craft 2. You know, the thing that's like a giant arm and goes, but it mines all the blocks up for you and gives them to you. Okay, now, thanks to me, I just made a little ugly spot. Um, okay, so I'll go over here. Um, and guess what? I finally figured out how to get that annoying uh, FPS or frames per second counter gone. So, I know this isn't a part of video, but if anybody has fraps and they want to get rid of that, just keep hitting F12 until it disappears. Um, Alright, so let's get started. You're going to obviously need the quarry. That'll be the uh, main part. Uh, crafting recipes, I will not be showing you the crafting recipes. I'm sorry, guys, but you you can look it up. I'm just showing you how to assemble the whole thing. What is the aqua regia? Man, there's all these things. I have no idea what that just did. Uh, there's all these things in this Feed the Beast. I have no idea what they do. Like the ender tank, um, the the um, ender pouch. I'm not for sure what that does. Book binder. There's so many things. I, I don't even know what most of these mod is. Open CC sensors. No idea what these things does. I think I know th I know what turtles are. I just don't know how to use them all. But anyways, that is not why you guys came here to, uh, uh, whatever. I'm losing words because I'm getting tired. But anyways. Okay, so you're going to need the quarry. I'm going to show you the, uh, newbie way of making it and the, uh, uh, the sort of best, like, best and, uh, good ways to make it, whatever. So I'm going to start off with a newbie way. So you're going to need the quarry, you're going to need the, uh, landmark. You're going to need four landmarks. Um, let's get stone. Um, going to need a block, a couple blocks. Um, you're going to need pipes. Um, I prefer stone pipes. Prefer stone transport pipes and maybe gold ones. And you're going to need, depending on how expensive you're wanting to make this, like I said, I'm going to show you the uh, cheap, cheap version first. And then I'll get into the... Uh, expensive and then or I'll get into upgrades you can make to it and different things you can do so I'm just gonna make you the simplest cheapest way the quarry itself is already expensive so you're gonna need the quarry the landmarks you're gonna need gold and transport pipes and some method of powering it I'll show, get on with a few of those okay so oops you're gonna want to put the landmark up landmark right here um and then you're gonna go how long, how big you want it. Say I want it that long vertically and this long horizontally. And then you're going to have to stack it, I think, four blocks above that landmark. So, whoa. Actually, I think it does it for you, so you might only need three landmarks. Let's see if it does it. Then you're just going to want to right-click that base one. No, you sh I think you still do need... No? Okay, so now you've got that, it's the ho vertically and horizontally how you want it. Then on this base one, you're going to put it right below it, and boom, yeah, it did do it. It makes that frame. And the good thing is, you can just pick those landmarks back up and re reuse them with other quarries. So, those never disappear. Okay, so now that you've got your quarry, you're going to need a method of powering it. Um, one way is by getting a engine... wait... They changed all the names. I'm not even sure what any of those names are anymore. There's several different engines you can get to, uh, several different engines you can get to power it. But right now it's not showing me them. Um, let's see. Coal. Goodness, what the heck? Engine. Enjoyon engine. Oh, here we go. There's the Sterling engine, there's the combustion engine, and there's the redstone engine. The redstone engine is the cheapest version. You can just plop it down right there. It's the cheapest version. I think you can hook up several of them. Um, if you just do one, that is going to be incredibly slow. I mean, it'll probably just take you days of nonstop power to uh, do that. Um, and I think it'll take even a long time just to 
do it like this, this one way, and getting pipe. You know, to get the best is these golden uh, conductive pipes. Um, let's throw that out. Golden conductive pipes. Plop that there. Plop that there. Plop that. Plop that. This is just a simple, extremely slow. The better. Uh, it is depends on how much resources you is you use. So let's power those, power those. Honestly, I don't think redstone engines even work anymore. So I don't know, I even know why I showed you that. Um, actually, yeah, I think they stopped allowing redstone engines to power quarries. So I'll show you you the Sterling engine next. Sterling engines run off of lava, coal, that stuff, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know why I built it up. I'll just build it running through like this. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I think it actually has to be up. Because it has to be coming from... It has to be coming from the uh, top of that engine. So, I'll get rid of that. Okay. So now, I'm going to put pop those levers there. And now we're going to want need to get coal. I mean, you can power it off of all sorts of different fuels, but right now we'll just do coal. Pops coal in right there, coal in right there. And then you can start those. I don't know why they're not going. Conduct. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I forgot one thing. They are running. Um. It can't be golden conductive pipes coming from it has to be wooden conductive pipes. So I think the redstone engines might have actually worked. It's just I forgot to uh, put the wooden conductive pipes there. There we go. They have to be wooden because wooden conductive pipes uh, allow the power to be extracted uh, from it. So now you can see it is building them. And four of those coal engines, oh my goodness, it's flying. But that'll really or sterling engines, I should say. But that'll really use up the coal, and you, it, it just probably won't end up being really nice. Man, there's some, there's a bit of lag, too, right here. Um, use memory, it's at 73%, no wonder. I think it's just because it's Feed the Beast, and perhaps and my recording program is coming up. But see, now, if, when it starts digging, it's just going to start spewing these things out. So you're going to want to get transport pipes. You're going to want to get a wooden transport pipe, excuse me, and plop it on the top, or the side. And then, that way, there you go, those pipes will start coming out. And then you can hook them up to uh, chests, this is the cheap, cheap way. Chests, um, let's just say crystal chests, you can hook up to several several different uh, crystal chests put a pop a crystal chest on the end and then they'll just go in a chest you can hook up all uh, all as many chests as you want then those just go in a random chest uh the gold pipes i think all the gold pipes do is speed the uh speed the items up speed those things up i mean you could if you're really going for cheapness you can uh do that with redstone engines, um, stone conductive pipes, um, make all this stone pipes, use regular wooden chests, but setting it up like this, they'll just go into a random chest, whatever it feels like. But once the chest gets full, if it's hooked up like that, it won't go in. It'll detect it. And so now that's working like that. Okay, so that was the cheapy cheap way. Now we're going to go on to a little more expensive way. Oh, by the way, you can also use combustion engines. Combustion engines are a little hard because you have to put uh, lava in there and then you have to put water in there to cool the lava down so it doesn't go boom. I think uh, the Stirling engines might be able to blow up, but I don't think I've ever had Stirling engines blow up. Now, these I have had blow up. If it runs out of water and is running for too long if you forget to shut it off when the water runs out those things will make a crater and they'll probably most likely blow up your quarry and just blow up a lot of good stuff lag so uh... 
you do not want to leave these combustion engines running. But what you can do is hook up like a pump system and just pump lava and water into there if you have if I have found like a lava lake. You can even pump it from the nether, but I'm not going to be showing you that stuff because uh, I actually do not know how to do that. But now I'm going to be showing you the way I do it and then a more expensive way that other people do it. Um, put the coal in there. Okay, so this is a way that other people do it, or how I do it, so, um... Okay, so I take a solar panel. I personally have an advanced solar panel, but if you use a whole ultimate hybrid solar panel, there's just going to be so much power, the quarry doesn't even, can't even use all that power. A hybrid solar panel... I think would work pretty well, but I I, fi I find the advanced solar pa panel like pretty much the best. So I will put that solar panel right there, and I will get a electric engine, electrical engine. The electrical engine is this this quarry is for feed the beast, by the way, with all the mods it has in it, because this electrical engine isn't actually I don't think a part of feed the beast. Um, this is a part of. Uh, I don't even know what mod. I think it's like a B mod or something. Um, but I don't know. So I, I take the electrical engine and then I take a circuit. I take the enhanced circuit board. Then you get electronic tubes. I think you can look up like how uh, you can customize these enhanced circuit boards. But I think I take a bronze electric tube and two tin electric tubes. I think this is one of the best combinations for the enhanced circuit board. I can't quite remember because it's been a while since I've actually done this. Then you'll need a soldering iron. Then you'll right click with that soldering iron and you'll put the advanced circuit board in there. Then you put those electronic tubes in there and that bronze tube and I'll make that and I guess it's one tin and one bronze. And that makes a good one. Then you pop that in there, and then just pop that electric thing in there. Then you'll take a lever and place that lever down. And then, um, what else will do? Um, I'll hook up crystal chests or just chests, just like this. I'll do golden pipes. But, uh, I'll show you another way if you don't want to use chests. Um, another way people do it. Um, so I'll go ahead and start that up. Actually, I won't start that up right away. But for some reason, it'll fill in the electrical engine. It'll fill it up with something. So uh, I'll just leave dirt right there so nothing else will get filled in there. So say you want something besides dirt. Um, I will take a void pipe avoid transport pipe and I will take a pipe a diamond transport pipe say there's something that you don't want put it on that gold tube before it gets to the chest put it on a tube before it gets to the chest and then put the void tube on the top see how it's black right there Oops. see how it's black right there that color that's coming out of the tube anything that you want to get rid of see the void tube is like lava anything that goes in that void tube is just destroyed so anything you don't want say you don't want dirt in your chests which i normally put dirt cobble because cobble will fill up your chests unless you want cobble dirt cobble gravel any useless stuff that you don't really care for you can match it up with the color and then watch this watch all that dirt that that's being sucked up No, oh, what the crap? Actually, I'm going to put a, a diamond pipe in there because obviously it's not going to be picking up any diamond pipes. So now, boom. No oh, time set day. Obviously, this goes much faster during the daytime. The solar panel does. So now, that dirt right there will be sucked up. Uh, Maybe it only works with stone pipes? Oh, it worked right there. 
Yeah, I think it works with the stone pipes because it goes slower. I think it's glitchy with the gold pipes because it's going really fast. But see, it'll go up right in that void pipe. And I guess some will bypass because they just can't go up into it that fast. I'm sure there's some way you can fix that. But personally, I don't know. So, I guess it's just choosing for some reason to go... I'm sure there's some way you can get them all to go up there, but it'll only let dirt go up there, I think. I think that's how it works. But, I mean, yeah, you can hook up better solar panels. I think you can make better circuit boards. Then what a lot of people do is they'll take ender chests. Not the regular ender chests. They'll take these special custom ender chests, and they'll hook it up. And then... They'll take a die. I mean, you can leave it like that, but they can make their own combinations. Let's just say orange, orange, orange. Then you can get another ender chest. You can get another ender chest with that matching die. Which, in this case, it was an orange die. They'll go orange, orange, orange. And that's making your own personal little code for the ender chest. So now... Everything that's in there, we'll go in there, see if it was a different color, like orange, orange, blue, or blue, orange, orange, or yellow, orange, orange. Anything other besides orange, 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 it wouldn't be in the same chest. So you can make it your own custom little chest, so you can even hack into other people's chests by typing in their color codes. It's pretty cool. Um, but people will often just run it into there, and then they'll obviously do that void pipe thing, and then they'll do that. I made a automatic sorting system video. Um, which this is what I'm telling you is that people will like hook up a, another electrical engine or Sterling engine and then a uh, wooden pipe right here and then they'll have everything be pumped out from that ender chest because it's pumping things into that ender chest and it'll pump other things out and then it'll pump all your stuff into your sorting chest like barrel uh, I don't know what this is, but I'm just curious on what it is. Can't place it. Okay. But, like, barrels. And then you can put pneumatic tubes, have it pump out new, pump out from pneumatic tubes. And you can make your sorting system, like, say, you want it only soldering irons to be in there, or barrels, anyways. But I've got a video for that, so go check out that video if you want to learn how to make that automatic sorting, sorting system for Feed the Beast. Um, one barrel, one stone transport pipe. This is also a good thing for, uh, if you do want cobblestone, these barrels, if you get a barrel upgrade, the extra dimensional barrel storage upgrade. Oops. Um, game mode one. Game mode zero, I mean. You can take that out. Ow! I'm starving. Oops. Give some. Oh, shift click on it. Shift click on it. And, oh, game mode one. And then that'll make it to where it can hold up to like thousands of cobblestone. But, uh, like I said, I've got a video on that. And I hope this video helped you guys. If so, comment, uh, give this video a thumbs up, rate the video. Obviously, like I just said, thumbs up and uh, subscribe for future videos. I'll be trying to get as many uh, Feed the Beast videos out as I can, trying to explain certain mods, but uh, obviously I won't be doing too many because I don't know what three, the two thirds of this mod, two thirds of Feed the Beast is. Like Leyden Jar, Routers, Slag Furnace. I think I actually know what that is. I know what some of these are in the factorization. I sort of know Greg Tech, Equivalent Exchange, I pretty much have no clue. I know a lot of people love Equivalent Exchange. I know that. Steve's Carts, I don't know what that is. But I'm not fluent in it. But, uh... Alright. So, comment, rate, thumbs up, and subscribe for future videos like I already said. Hey, <laughs> And, uh, as always, guys, peace out.